Welcome in this session we are going to learn how to install Cassandra on Linux uh, 7.0 version. So as a prerequisite we need to download so in this uh, uh, installation what we are going to do is we are going to install the Cassandra using the tar file. So it's the URL is provided you just need to go and download it. Uh, the another uh, Prerequisite is you need to download the uh, uh, Zaba, uh, Java 1.8 and uh, you need to push this to the Linux server. So I'm already uh, logged in to, to the Linux box and we are going to perform the installation uh, in a very fast uh, forward way. So the first thing which we are going to do is I'm already logged in um, on one of the uh, uh, virtual machine that I have and I'm logged in as MOBA uh, XTERM GUI tool and uh, uh, you can see here so I'm logged in as root so the first thing which I have to do is we are going to create a user uh, which is uh, OS user which is Cassandra So it's already exists. So what I'm going to do is let's delete it. User Dell. User Dell hyphen R and Cassandra. Let me kill that process which is holding it. Okay, this is done. Now let's create uh, let's delete the user user is deleted now clear the screen and now i'm going to add the user so it is user at cassandra so the user is created as the next step what we are going to do is we are going to change the password of cassandra user so that we can log in okay i'm giving a very simple password yes the user is created at the operating system level. So we had, uh, what we have to do is we have to create a couple more directories. One is var lib uh, Cassandra and another is var log uh, Cassandra where uh, Cassandra is going to write the information over there. So just create both the directories. Uh, file already exists. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I think I have done it earlier. Let's change the permission as well on both the directories. It is created. The permission is given. Now, what we have to do is we have to upload uh, the binaries, uh, which I have already uh, downloaded on my system. So what I have to do is I have to log in as Cassandra user. Mm -hmm. It seems to have got stuck. Okay. All right. Now let's upload. So what we will do is uh, using this MOVA XTERM only. So these are the two software which I had downloaded. Apache Cassandra tar file and another is uh, Java file. So let's upload both of them. Uh, you can see it is 90. It's very small file, so it will be uploaded immediately. And it will go in the uh, slash home slash Cassandra. So if you see, uh, both the files are uploaded. Now what we have to do is, the first thing which we will do is, uh, there is a special character which has came uh, over here in Apache Cassandra tar file when I have downloaded it twice. So I'm going to rename it as Apache Cassandra. Uh, dot tar dot zz so it is done uh, similarly let's uh, the next step which i'm going to do is i'm going to untar the uh, apache cassandra file using the cassandra user so this is done so it's done in similar way you can uh, untar uh, jdk as well tar hyphen xvf so let me copy and paste uh, this is also unzipped you can just check the uh, java version it should be at uh, 1.8 so java hyphen 
version if you are installing on window you would might need uh, 2.7 python as well java is already installed so we do not need to do anything the next step uh, which we have to do is uh, we have already untarred it and what we are going to do is we'll just uh, okay let me see if i have this version of uh, jdk or not if not then the tar file will be pushed over there i think i have copied it earlier uh, jdk 1.8 so that is fine so what we will do is we will export the cassandra home so where we installed our cassandra we installed our cassandra uh, sorry, I uh, untarred in this location. So what we will do is, will this will be the Cassandra home. So we'll say export Cassandra home equal to uh, till the Apache Cassandra hyphen 3.11 dot 10, and uh, then we will export the path wherein we will export the bin location of uh, Cassandra home. This is done. And uh, then what we will do is uh, we will go to uh, uh, Cassandra bin location and then we are going to invoke the uh, we, we have to start the Cassandra now uh, Cassandra hyphen F so we'll say dot backslash Cassandra hyphen F it is available in the bin directory of uh, Cassandra home just execute it and why oh, just taking so long? Okay, let's see if it is. Uh, uh, uh. Warning, warning, warning. Okay, it seems everything is going fine. So it should come up. A startup completed. Now let's verify if everything is coming as expected or not so we will say no tool status and let's go to let's open one more session of Cassandra and uh, okay and now uh, you just say no tool status okay I think uh, uh let's export the cassandra home and path location again and uh, then we will say no tool status i hope the path uh, we have already okay it is already given so no tool status it should uh, show us the status okay you can see it is showing us the status we are not going to uh, check the configuration file of cassandra that we will do in another session now let's uh, try out the uh, cassandra command line shell so we'll simply say cql uh, cassandra command line uh, shell you can see so just a recap of what we have done uh, uh, as a prerequisite we need to download the tar file of uh, apache cassandra and then we need to download the java 1.8 uh, when we checked the java version it was already available we created an os user cassandra if you are use, uh, uh, using uh, uh, using uh, if you are using the repo uh, then it will when when you are is installing it using the repo as a root user it will create uh, uh, these users so we have created it manually then we have created two uh, directories uh, in uh, one in uh, var log uh, cassandra another is var live cassandra we have given uh, full permission then the tar file which we had downloaded uh, uh, on local system we transferred it to linux system then we untarred it and in similar way we have untarred the uh, the java file uh, JDK as well then we have moved it to user uh, local uh, so that it will be available for all then we have exported the Java home Cassandra home and uh, then we have exported the path so that when you um, when you fire some command from the bin location of Cassandra without going there it will invoke those then we have to start the Cassandra's because we have used it uh, using uh, 
uh, tar file you will say cassandra hyphen f if you have uh, uh, installed it using the repository as a root user then uh, you will have to use system ctl once it has started you can see it will appear something like this so this should keep on running you can see over here and uh, then we uh, invoked the command line using uh, cqlsh and we checked the node tool status so this is all basic about uh, how uh, we install the cassandra on linux uh, using the tar file so you can start working on uh, uh, cassandra query language uh, shell prompt i hope this is going to help and uh, thanks for watching